We don't know how close we are enough. I don't really know where we're at, to be honest with you. The amount of times I've heard those words come out of your mouth. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. This is very weird because my mother is in the driver's seat. Hello. And she's grinning like a fool. I don't know why, because I'm the one who gets to spend all the money today. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're going to jump through some hoops. Yes, yes, I am. Because today, guys, today, I have convinced my mother to let me go into Barnes & Noble as a free woman. <laughs> Basically, what? I saw this challenge. I don't even remember challenge. who it was. Okay, it's not really a challenge for it's, me. It's going to be a challenge. I'm it is make this it time. A challenge. The person who I saw, if I can find the little 60 second short, I will link them down below. But basically, she made her husband or convinced her husband to let her go to Barnes & Noble, give her 10 minutes to scout the store and come up with a game plan. And then had 60 seconds to get all of the books that she could and he had to pay for it. Well, that's kind of what we're doing here. But my mother has added some uh, stipulations because I work at a library, which means I I know so many books and I already have a game plan. So the 10 minutes is even better of a game plan. I don't think you should get 10 minutes. That's See, this is the stipulations. Uh, we can do, what if we did five? Five minutes to get the layout. Mm -hmm. And then as many books in 60 seconds as you can hold. Yes. And then you lay them on the table, and I get to ask you five questions of my yes. choice. Yes. If you get the question wrong, you have to give up one book for every question you get wrong. Yes. Which means, you guys, I need to get six or seven books, because there's also something that my mom's been toying with, and it's a double or nothing. And I'm scared. <laughs> so, anyway, we're on our way to Barnes & Noble, and um, anything else you need to add, or... Well, we're lost, so I'm not sure where Barnes & Noble is at. Where so we might have to Google it. Oh, this is Timberline right here, so we need to go right here and turn. We're not lost. We're, we're not lost. lost. Woo! Hi, Dad. For instance, one of the questions, <laughs> do you know what the tire pressure on that big semi-truck is? No! How many quarts of oil does it take when he changes his oil? Mom! <laughs> Who owns the franchise of that KFC <laughs> right there? See, you ain't keeping any of the bucks. <laughs> you won't know the answer to any of those, will you? No, I asked you. You said there are some that I might be able to know. <laughs> I thought you were a semi truck driver in the past life. <laughs> Barnes and Noble, here we go. Okay, my game plan is to get like at least two books that I don't want so that the two that I do want can get no matter the questions. That's the game plan. Hey, Mom, game plan? I did share my game plan. Do, 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 do. Ready? Go. I don't think I'm the right person to tape this, babe. Just Yes, you are. You're the only other person who's with me. Okay, you get five minutes to get the lay of the land. No, I'm so scared. I'm scared I wonder if there was anything on this shelf she wanted. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I do want to read that one. I've heard great things about that one. Icebreakers is going to be one of them. So now she's looking at all these tables here. I'm not quite sure why. I thought she'd go straight to the fantasy genre. Four minutes. Uh, 
escape with a good book. Now don't forget we're getting ready to go on vacation. So some vacation books would be good. That's the brand new section. That's going to cost me some money. Where's the clearance rack? Familiarize yourself with the clearance rack. <laughs> the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. We're headed out. Oh, well, this is right up your alley. Young adult fantasy. How about House of Roots of and Ruin? You only got three minutes left, baby. I feel so stressed. I feel like I'm not the invention of murder. Oops, she's headed off. We better get after her. Oh, she's got a sale rack there. Build your own library, 20% off. That's a good rack. The Dictionary of Lost Words. Oh, here's Sarah J. Mass, babe. Do you have all these? No, but I don't like the new books. Oh. I, I hate these covers so much. Okay, my bad. I thought she was still on the up and up. Time is one minute and 57 seconds. We're doing a YouTube challenge where she gets five minutes to look for books, and then everything she gets in a minute, I have to pay for. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to throw some history questions in there, though, and if she can't answer them, she has to give one book back for every question she can't answer. I love that. <laughs> 1.30, babe. Romance, huh? Ooh. I'm trying not to tape other people. I don't know how people feel about that. But I've lost her. Crap, I've lost her. I didn't want to get those kids on film and now I've lost her. She's got 37 seconds and I've lost her. All right, Mads, your time is up. I have no idea where she went. Where did you go? Well, I was trying not to film people because I don't know how people feel about that. I went, so I went around the corner so I didn't get those kids. I went to um, the YA section. It's my five minutes up. It's up. You had longer <laughs> than that. Probably closer to six minutes. So okay. where do you want me to, to wait? Where Am I supposed to follow you around while you get them? Yeah. You guys, are you still recording? Yeah, I don't know how okay. to shut it off. That's good. Okay, just make sure. Okay, okay, we'll go to the front because there's books there that I want. Set a timer oh for one God. minute. Okay. Are we serious? Oh, no, don't be running. I'm don't be okay. Because I don't want you to hurt. I don't want you to hurt anybody. Oh my gosh! I only have a minute. Should I work from the back up to the front, or should I work from the front to the back? Get the mind. Because work. there's only one book I saw. In the, in the, we would do the front first because there's more well, there. Well, what I was can your grab. strategy you shared in the parking lot? The strategy line. I had for the parking lot. This doesn't matter where we start. But and you have one. to be able to hold all these, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. So I think you should have to like close your eyes and spin around in circles <laughs> ten times. No. All right, will you let me know when we start this timer? Oh no, I'm so scared. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I'm not a very good recorder here, babe. Okay, let's since let's do one oh five so that you can show it and then. <laughs> okay, fine. If I can't keep up with you, uh. Like last time, you had an extra 30 seconds. <laughs> but I did try and come find you. So let me have that. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Okay, here's the one. Okay. Oh, and she saw off right off the bat, right on the first table. She picked up two. Three. Four. My wallet's hurting. So I think she's probably got me for about 60 bucks so far. Just need wrappers. Uh, 
20 seconds. Oh, that's going to be a high dollar one there. 13 seconds. Oh, she's not going to get it because it's not hardcover. Time. <laughs> How many did you get? I don't know. How do I shut it off? Okay. How many did you end up getting? Um, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All right, let's I go got... somewhere for the questions. Okay, I got it back up now. In case I fail the questions. <laughs> <laughs> she got nine in one minute. That wasn't too bad. All right. These are good. all of These them. Are good photos of the books. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. She got nine books. Hold on. Let's get a thumbnail. This is so cringy. Why is Question number two. How many branches are there in the United States military service? I mean, you got it's just a number. Five. Five. I believe that is correct. Oh, okay. How many did you think there were? No, I well, I got to four because I was confusing military and marine. Because I was like, military is not a branch; they're all military. And I was like, there's the marine one. So name all five of them. That's the third question. Oh, okay. Which um, what book? Same book on the chopping block, or? No, because. No. So you want to keep three assassins? No. Well, I don't want to, I know it. I don't want to mess it up, but I would be okay if that one was gone. Okay, well, you saved it with question two. Do you want to put it back up for question three, or do you want another one? I'll, I'll put it back up for, let's put this one on for question three, which is Oh, I the thought you really right? wanted that one. I do, but you, the question three, you told me what question three is, so I know question three. Oh, so maybe I should save it then. No, no, you still like, you All right, name it. all five branches of the military service. Okay. Army, Air Force. Coastal Service, Coast, Coast, Coast Guard, um, Navy, and Marines. And Marines, very good. So I get to put this one up. Okay. You don't want. You can put that one up for question four if you want. No, I want that one for show. For show. For show. For show. Okay. Oh, chopping block. Massachusetts? Boston, Massachusetts? Am I getting confused with the Tea Party? You must. <laughs> you must be because it is I not. Am. Would you like would you like to give up one of these books for a hint to save that book? Um I'll give up this book. For a hint? Yes. It's in one of the states you have to take an airplane to. That's the only way you can get there is by airplane. Oh, um, um, Hawaii. Yes. I was like, um, you could take it for all of them. Where yes, you but you have to. Okay. Or I guess you could take a boat. Okay, so Hawaii was my hint. Okay. I saved my, saved my. So time. what is there? One more question. I know. I got some. I don't even have any more questions. All my questions were on Pearl Harbor, but when you didn't even know who attacked us, I don't think you're going to get the rest. Well, of I confused it with. The Boston Tea Party. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, here. Two. I'll put this one on the chopping block. That is an expensive one. I would like to get rid of that. That's one. why I'll put it on the okay, chopping block. Okay, your question is how much do I weigh? <laughs> you don't know. Perfect. Get rid of that expensive book. No, be serious. What year did Pearl Harbor happen? <laughs> do you know anything about Pearl Harbor at all? I know that the Japanese did it. <laughs> Japanese attacked us. I don't. Can you have anything else? <clears throat> Come on, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have any questions ready though, because you sprung this on me last minute. I told you like last week. I didn't, didn't know we. Think. I didn't know we were really gonna do it. Oh. Do you want to wait then? <sighs> do you want to peruse some of these books? No. Okay. What am I in for here already? Here's the deal, yo. I can now choose which ones I want because my mother made an oopsie and did not record the challenge, the questions. So. I thought I was. She recorded some of them, but she accidentally clicked the little stop recording button. <laughs> 
don't worry. Before we get into good vlogs, I will teach her how to record. But, basically, the one She doesn't I, want this one, and it looks like a really good book. Well, you're paying, so if you want it, we can get it. If it's at the library, we might as well get it for free. With 80 people on hold for it. 80 people on hold for it, huh? It's very popular. Anyway, so, the questions, I put some books up, and... Yeah, she duped me. <laughs> and you guys were all in on it. Okay, so I just told my mom what my game plan was. This was her reaction. I said, you little... How is that even fair? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but the ones I'm going to go through, I'm going to keep some, get rid of some. I'm going to the ones that I did on the questions that I already lost to, the dupes, they're gone. We will never see them again. But the ones that aren't dupes, I'm going to make sure I actually want because they're all $17.99. I'm like, they're paperbacks. What the heck? So. It's Barnes & Noble. Everything's high. The roof is being worked on, so I apologize. However, it's the following morning. If you're wondering why, it's because I live in Colorado. So I get home from Barnes & Noble is a two-hour drive. So, I was tired when we got home. But, book haul. Basically, my mom was like, you can get all of them because we had the issue where she stopped filming started filming stopped filming and start filming with all without her knowledge um however i didn't want all of those books so i did a little bit of something where i traded one for another book and we're going to talk about that so the first book we have is the atlas six by olive blake no doubt you've heard about this. Um, I really didn't have, like, I wanted to read it, but I wasn't super much like I want to own it and consume it until I got it in Swedish. So I have the ebook in Swedish that I'm currently trying to read, and then I wanted to read it in English afterwards and then reread it in Swedish. I might change up my approach to that. Um, I might do one chapter and then read it in Swedish. I'm gonna have to see how I feel, but I had to get this because now I'm reading it in Swedish, so I really gotta read it sooner than I was anticipating. This is basically like dark academia, and I think it it, it was like the golden child last year. It was originally self-published and then got republished by Tor. By Tor. So I don't know a lot about it. I know it's got a lot of love and it's also got some hate. But I like fantasy, and so this seems kind of like simplistic fantasy, and I tend to enjoy simplistic fantasy a lot more than I do high fantasy. That doesn't stop me from reading high fantasy, but that's that's what I'm saying. So this is book numero uno, or numero et. And then we have Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I was on the fence about whether or not I wanted this book for a couple of days. And then I saw it at Barnes & Noble and I was like, yes, I want it. So, yeah. And also, I think just Ali talked about it maybe on YouTube. I'm not 100% sure if that's who I heard, about, heard talk about it. But it's a romance. It looks cute. Um, and I think it's, is it, I think it's, it's haters to lovers. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, it reminds me of that Disney. I don't know why this itself reminds me of that Disney movie with, uh, Peyton List and somebody else put it right here where they're like, they actually switch bodies. I don't think that's happening, but that's what this reminds me of. Um, and for the romance that I went in there wanting the seven year uh, slip. I found it after the challenge, um, but it was $17.99, and since I didn't grab it, I wasn't gonna get it. And then this was on the 50% off table. It is Fol Folket's Pendulum by Umberto Eco. I have no idea. I've never heard anybody talk about this book, but it looks crazy. It has so many like different formats in the book, and just opening up the table of contents, holy crap is insane because it's got like different people and that's a pendulum and it's got, it's got different people like what the heck i have no idea what to expect but i had this book and a non-fiction book about how crime came to be and ultimately this is the one i picked because 
it was just really calling me. You know, it was one of those books where you had no idea that it even existed, but once you read about it and you kind of flipped through it, you're like, hmm, maybe. And then you carried it around the bookstore for the rest of the time you're there. And then at the end, you're like, yeah, definitely. That was this one. So I'm going to read this on vacation, actually, because that is, uh, that's what I'm planning. But actually, I kind of want to read it now. No, read the library books. Read this on vacation. And then we have A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This is one that I got because it's really popular at the library. And I think my mom, I think, I think my mom will like this one. So that's why I got this one. Um, and it seems like very similar to Lisa Jewell. I think from what I've heard. Uh, so yeah, my mom likes Lisa Jewell. So I think, I think my mom will like this one. And this is why I got another 50% offer. So even though I had three 50% offers in my stack, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't want them. So I found a different one that I actually did want because I wasn't going to buy books that I didn't like super duperly, uperly want to own and want to read. Um, I grabbed too many dupes. That's what happened. But yes, I don't know if I'll read this, but sometimes, just sometimes my mom's got to get a little something for herself. And the librarian me was like, it's really popular at the library. So I know if you want to read it, you're going to be on hold for a while. Come on. Come on. So that's that one. And then the last little sucker is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This was Impulse because I've heard things about it. But I was never much so like, yeah, definitely want to read this. And then I saw it on the shelf next to Icebreaker. And I was like, yes, I need it. So I grabbed this one. Um, I don't know what this is about. We have a, 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 an amusement park, I think. I don't know. But yes, these are all of the books that I got because of this challenge and I'm very excited because I haven't gone book shopping in a while and then so we only got five and a bookmark which I don't have in here um but it was $88.94 before tax and then afterwards it was $95.65 $95.65 because we got a rewards card so we got $10 off since we spent over 50 yes these are the books I got and I'm excited to read them, uh, particularly this one in Swedish. Okay, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in my next video. And um, au revoir, salut, hey du, adios, goodbye.